Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been over a year since I've posted on this channel. Um, <laughs> this video is going to be very uncomfortable for me to film, but we're doing it, we're going for it. It's going to be a life update video and basically what has happened in the past year and why I have not been active on any of my YouTube channels. I'm just going to get right into it. Um, December of 2020, right before Christmas, I found out that my father had uh, stage 4 pancreatic cancer and um, it spread everywhere. It metastasized to his lungs, his liver, um, lymph nodes everywhere. And it was unexpected, a huge shock. All that he had for warning signs was back pain and stomach pain that progressively kept getting worse. So that happened in December and it was a very emotional time. Stage four, obviously he did not have long to live and he passed away in February, on February 11th, um, one month before his birthday. He would have been 68. So I took the year off. It was much needed. I did a lot of healing, to say the least. I've grown a lot since then. My priorities changed. So yeah, I wanted to update you guys that that is the main and sole reason why I have not been on YouTube. I just did not have any motivation. Um, didn't seem important to me this year at all, honestly, but I feel like I am in a very good place now to continue to make videos when I have the time. Um, I've also, because of my dad, chose to go down the healthcare route, completely changed my career path for the future and I've decided to go to school to become a medical assistant and to help people. I felt so strongly about it after seeing what my dad went through and just being there for somebody, taking care of people. It's something that I am really passionate about at this point in my life. So that is what I've chose to do. So I'm in an eight month accelerated program. Usually it's a two year program. Uh, so it's very intense and I was taking seven classes a semester. I have finals next week and it's just been nonstop. I'm also working still in the fragrance industry, so that is not going away from my channel. I am making a fragrance video after this, my number one favorite fragrance right now. That will be the next video, kind of become my signature, but stay tuned for that. I hope that you all are doing really well and let me know in the comments what um, changes you've gone through this year and let's get a conversation going down there for sure. I miss you guys. I have missed you guys all year. I just didn't want to put I didn't want to put a video up that I wasn't genuinely happy filming or making and it just wasn't it for me this year. <laughs> It just wasn't the year to make videos for me. But like I said, now I'm in a great place and I'm very happy to be back with all of you. So for the second part of this video, I thought that it was important to help out some of you that might be going through a significant loss in your life and give some tips on how to get past it and how to work through it and to come out of it stronger. It's never easy to lose someone who is extremely close to you. I experienced it a lot in my life uh, the past few years, but absolutely 110% not as much as this year. I lost my father and then I lost my Nana a few months later, which was my dad's mother. That was her second son that she lost to the same thing, pancreatic cancer. And um, I think it just kind of put her over the edge. No mother should ever have to lose a son, never mind two. Um, so, yeah, it's been a year. My Nana was one of my best friends. My dad was my best friend. 
now it's me and my mom at this point, you know, I'm been there for her and um, we're trying to adjust to this new life uh, together right now. And we've adjusted pretty well. I say that we've done a really great job and I'm sure my dad is extremely proud of us. Um, but yes, so I want to talk about things that you guys can do to boost your spirits during this during a time when you're in the middle of um, losing someone important to you. So some things that really helped me out and made such a difference on what I was like in the beginning of this year versus what I am now is dive deep into your feelings. Do not avoid your feelings as awful as they feel and they are and you don't think that you're ever going to get out of that moment, that horrible moment of just grief that doesn't seem to go away. It will absolutely go away. You just have to really dive deep into your feelings. Journal a lot. Uh, writing things down for me probably was the most helpful thing. And I would write notes in my phone. You don't even have to have a notebook or anything. I would write notes in my phone and I would talk to my dad in my notes. And that was extremely, extremely helpful. I would talk to him out loud, just acting like they're they're with you, like forcing yourself to not have self-pity in the fact that they're gone, but pretend like they're not gone. That is something that continues to help me all the time. I feel like he is with me all the time. And definitely talking to the person, whether you can physically see them or not, is extremely helpful. The other tip that I have is to talk about all of the good memories that you have with that person, with your family members, your friends. Don't don't try to avoid thinking about them. Um, just celebrate. Celebrate the life that they did live. Celebrate the memories that you've had. Talk about all the funny jokes and all the little quirks that that person had and what made them unique. Talking about things like that, it's going to keep their spirit alive and it's, it's going to help you so much to just think about the positive side of that person and everything and your relationship with them instead of dwelling on the negatives that they're gone. And I know that that sounds so much easier said than done, but it's necessary. It's absolutely necessary. I, If I didn't constantly talk about him in the beginning, I would have, all of that would have built up inside of me and I wouldn't have been able to get over it as, um, I don't want to say get over it because you're never actually over it, but you kind of learn how to live with the grief and you learn how to conquer the feelings, the constant feelings of grief, and you focus on other things. So in order to get to that point, you have to write things down and you have to talk to people. You cannot keep that in. I, um, well, I've been, as I've been open about it, I've been seeing a therapist for five or six years at this point in my life. Um, I only see her once a month at this point, and it's just so helpful to have somebody who really isn't a part of your life at all, and you can just, like, tell them all the good and bad things in your life and just have their opinion um, without them being, like, involved in your life and without, like, burdening someone else with your issues or feeling like you're burdening other people. So it's really important for me that I had the therapist, especially during that time. I was seeing her like every week, once a week or every other week at one point this year. And that was extremely helpful. She is the best. Um, don't know where I would be without her at this point in my life. But yeah, I think talking it out with somebody who you know that you're not burdening because you're paying them to literally sit there and listen to you and give you advice. It's just the greatest thing. And she's given me such great advice. And she is a huge reason why I came out as strong as I came out because she's given me so many tips. That's why I kind of just wanted to come on here and share with you guys like some of these tips that I've learned and things that have really helped me. Another tip that I have is dive deep into books about loss. 
um, about spirits living on and spirits never actually going away and stuff like that. It, it makes you feel good. You need to do anything that will make you feel good. For me, I've realized that people grieve in all different ways. There's not one right way to grieve. And if anyone ever tells you that, cut them out of your life. There's not one way to grieve. For me, I knew that I could not be alone for beginning after he passed. I surrounded myself with friends and family constantly. I was out of work for, I think it was three or four weeks after he passed and I was with people every single day. And of course, it's important to have your alone time. I absolutely had both, but I knew when enough alone time was enough and when it was becoming a negative thing. So I surrounded myself with people that I loved for the first month and it was so helpful. So definitely don't um, try not to wallow by yourself in your bed because that's just not going to help anything. It's important to face the emotions, but don't wallow um, in the grief because it's going to make it that much harder to get out of. Like I said, I know everyone is different. Everyone has different preferences. So this is just from my experience and how I feel about the whole situation. So do what you have to do, of course, but um, that's just personally what helped me. So I feel for you guys who have lost somebody close to you in your life. I know what that feels like and there are no words that can explain it. So I'm not going to try to, but everything will be okay eventually everything will be okay in the end it's temporary this feeling is temporary and you're going to get through it you're going to be strong you're going to get past the grief you will you just have to be patient with yourself and give yourself grace so much grace it's so important don't be hard on yourself. Let yourself go through the emotions and you will be okay. I promise you, you will be. And that is really it for this video. I don't want to make it super long. I wanted to do a short life update and let you guys know kind of what has drastically changed in my life and the reasons for not posting videos. So I hope that you guys got some sort of value out of this video, especially if you just lost somebody. And I also wanted to take the time to thank each and every one of you for sticking around this year, even though I haven't posted anything. There's still over 4,000 of you, and I could not be more grateful for each and every one of you. And I say that from the bottom of my heart. I can't believe that you guys have stuck around. So thank you. And I will absolutely be posting a new video this week as well. So stay tuned for that. And I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.